So at the time of this video, this sneaker has not dropped yet. Some of you may have struck gold with the shock drop and you have a pair on the way. These are not from the shock drop. Your boy was able to get his hands on early version, early pair of these sneakers, and I think they came out dope. I'm gonna edit up this video, chop it up, and make it so that you guys will be able to see it. Hopefully, I'll be able to push it out on time and drop this video before this sneaker comes out on the 17th of February. I'll tell you why I say hopefully later on in the video, but for now, let's just talk about BAM! These Air Jordan 4s reimagined, and let's just see if they're dope or not. Let's get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What go down? It's your boy AB, and welcome to my channel. And on this channel, we review sneakers. These are the reimagined fours, the Air Jordan reimagined fours. And I do have the original version, the new bucks. I can't find them right now, but I'll have a video comparing the two later on down the line. Before we get started, if you see something on this channel that you may like, go ahead and hit that like button. Helps your boy out a ton. Your boy greatly appreciates it. Free for you means everything to me. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Your boy appreciates it. Now, reason why I say I may not be able to get this video out on time is because your boy caved and got a Mac. Yes, indeed, he went and got an Apple. I was working with PC all this time before, but now your boy switched on over to a MacBook and now, your boy just don't know what's what on this thing. So it may take me a little bit of time because there's that learning curve, but your boy's a genius nonetheless and he'll figure it out. There's gonna be a video on the MacBook. I wanna talk about how Apple is different from PC and I wanna talk about the Apple experience as far as being a creator goes. But get that out of the way. We're not talking about that anymore for the rest of this video. You came for BAM! These Air Jordan 4s are retailing for $215. They will release February 17th, 2024. Reselling right now at the time of this video, in my size, the size 10 and a half, you can get them for approximately $303, which isn't too bad, I guess. But nowadays, man, who wants to spend 300 bucks on a sneaker when everything else is so high? Damn! This reimagined version is to represent the 35th anniversary of the Jordan brand. So they've been reimagining all year long. We've been getting different versions, some of them hot, some of them not. I think the most hottest one would be the Lost and Found. These, they're falling in a gray area with me, man. I mean, do I like them? Short answer, yes. Long answer, Man, we got some stuff to talk about. Overall, I think it's a dope sneaker. I do like the leather. The leather is nice. Reason being, it's a whole lot easier to clean than the new buck. Straight up and down. If it rains with the new buck and you get caught in that rain, my friend, oh, it's a bad day. It's a very bad day. These, not so much. So I do give the leather one leg up for that reason and that reason alone. Let's talk about the colorway of the sneaker. Bam! Now they are going with the bread, and it is the bread. Nothing new there. You don't need a YouTube shoe tuber to tell you anything about that, right? I just feel like with something that's called reimagined, you gotta give it some kind of a name, like you did the lost and found, you know? Like that's, that's what these other sneakers are missing. When you don't give it that, that secret sauce, that secret name, that code name, that's when we get lost. I don't want you to strike out on this sneaker because of the name of Alone because the materials used are pretty premium, at least to feel of touch. It's not tumble leather, it's textured leather. It's a little bit of a difference, feels good nonetheless, and it is a soft leather. So I do like it for that, and it is really good in hand. The tongue on the sneaker, bam! This is a Jordan 4 tongue, you know what I mean? It looks good, no complaints whatsoever. Got the flight on there. On the back of the tongue, bam! Bag of the tongue has Air Jordan backwards. It's there for you, it's there for you. The tongue of the sneaker, mine's puffy, but it's not too puffy. Boom, can you see that? I enjoy it that way. Boom, the overall shape of the sneaker is that SB shape from the SB, what is it? Lucky green, lime green, St. Patrick's green. I can't remember exactly what the name is right now. Boom, but that Jordan 4 that came out a couple of months ago that was in that white, green, cream colorway, which was dope. This has that same, shape to it. That being said, you know Jordan Brand. We all know how Jordan Brand gets down. You come up with one and then you just change the colorways all the way down the rest of the way. You know what I'm saying? We all know how they get down. They just rinse, reuse, rinse, reuse. We keep buying it. That's why they keep doing it. That's another conversation for another time. 
The laces on the sneaker. Damn! Flat black laces. Don't come with any other laces. Would you really want it to come with any other laces? I guess you could throw some cement laces in there. Those would slap pretty good. I'm fine with my black ones here. They look good. The cage on here. Damn! Cage looks good. I have no complaints about the cage. Boom! It looks good. No complaints. Damn! I think they just did a good job with it. The wings look good, no complaints. Winging it, looking good. I think that this sneaker really hits low key, high key. This sneaker really does hit, but I can see it getting a lot of slack and a lot of hate because <sighs> the reimagined tag, man. You know what I'm saying? But I think we're thinking a little too hard on the reimagined. Look at the leather. Boom! Look at that leather. I mean, that leather is just on point. Looks good. It's textured. It looks good. Feels good. It's folks just hating, man. February 17th, grab you a pair. If you strike out, no worries because, you know, there's all kind of options out here where you can grab you a pair. The back of the sneaker. Bam! Back of the sneaker looks good. Your boy has no complaints about that shape. Look at it. It looks amazing. You've got that Nike Air in that cement colorway. It looks good. It looks very good. Look how the red just kind of pops. Oh, man. That red just pops at the bottom. Don't it, though? Red colorway never fails. I think it don't ever fail. Any bread silhouette, Jordan silhouette, where the bread colorway doesn't look good, that's like the bread and butter of the Jordan brand. <laughs> Look at that. You see, how, you see how your boy did that? Bread and butter on the breads. Yeah. <laughs> the toe box of the sneaker. Damn. Toe box looks good. No complaints. Some folks have got the widow's peak. Mine has it a little bit, but don't be surprised if yours does have the widow peak. Not a big deal. Damn. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that shape. That is that SB shape. Redefined. Love it. Reimagined. Right there. See? That looks good. Not puffy. Not bad. Looks different from the uh, OG version, but I'll take it. I'll take this over the OG version. It's nice and slim and slender. Good job on the toe box. Midsole of the sneaker. Bam! Midsole looks good. No complaints. AJ4 midsole. Polyurethane on the back side of the midsole here. This is all polyurethane with your air bubble. Looks good. Look at that. Woo! Looks good. They did a good job. It's either these or the threes, man. Favorite silhouettes, these are the threes. They just never die. It's a classic that never dies. Polyurethane feels good, not too stiff, not too much give. It's just right, feels good. It feels good, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> outsole of the sneaker, bam! Outsole looks good, Jordan 4 outsole. Hair and bone looks good, no complaints, plenty of grip. Nike logo is there for you. The bread colorway with a little splash of cement looks good, no complaints. Very strong, very strong. Insole of the sneaker, bam! Insole looks good, no complaints. Nike Air in that black font on this red backing. Polyurethane insole looks good, no complaints. It looks really good, I have no complaints. No complaints, no complaints. It could be a little stronger, maybe a little stronger, but you know, you know what I mean. Looks good. Inside stitch of the sneaker looks really good. It's nice and tight, just the way we like it. Matter of fact, it's perfect. perfect. Looks good. They did an amazing job on the inside, insole of the sneaker. How comfortable is this sneaker? Sneaker's pretty comfortable, man. It's true to size, a little tight because of the leather. New Buck has a little bit more give on it. I don't know why, but it does. But this is still true to size. Feels good. It's very comfortable. More comfortable than the New Buck version. I'm assuming that's the SB situation going on there. You can walk around all day in these sneakers. These sneakers on point. A little on the heavy side, but Jordans are heavy typically, naturally. We all know this. I mean, it has a good balance to it, good feel to it. I enjoy this sneaker a lot. Right now, as of 2024, this is on my top top five list right here, for sure. This is on my top five. Man, but look, 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 man, bam! Mine came with like a little smudge or something on there, man. I don't like that, but the good thing is, it's leather, so you can just and it's done, you know? So, not too bad. I didn't do it yet because I want the shoe. And I want you to have the full experience when I first get it. So you can feel what I feel and how I'm feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. It's a, it's a dope sneaker. Very comfortable. Feels good. Have no complaints. That SB situation going on with this sneaker, or I guess on how they mold the insole of it or whatnot, is very good. It feels good. And it doesn't hurt to have a polyurethane insole. Now it does it. What do I rate this sneaker on the A, B spectrum? Now you know I'm gonna say it's a 10. It's a straight up 10, up and down. 
Some of y'all are gonna hate on this sneaker because y'all are gonna be like, man, they ain't really do much to it. But trust and believe the comfort is different from the OG. This leather quality, being able to clean it is a whole lot better than the OG. And I think the shape of the sneaker overall is better than the OG as well. Oh, stop and wait before you blow up the comments because this is all subjective. Understand that, subjective, all right? But on this channel, is my opinion, it's fact. Dig, <laughs> this is a 10. Good sneaker, hot sneaker. I think they did a great job with it. I kind of felt like they're not gonna fly off the shelf. See, one half is like, yo, these are gonna fly. Other half is like, nah, they're kind of gonna sit. When I saw the shock drop pop off, my size, size 10 and a half, I checked that 130, man, there's still sizes available. So what does that tell you? What does that tell you? You know, again, it's a shock drop. Not everybody knows about it, et cetera, et cetera. There's so many variables to it. I think if you wake up on time on that Saturday on the 17th, and you go and you casually do your thing. Maybe not so casually, kind of hasty. Do you just do your thing? You're gonna end up with a pair, I believe. If I'm wrong, comment below, man. I wanna know, man. I wanna know if these flew off the shelf or not. Anyways, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. It's your boy AB. If you wanna holla at your boy, you can always hit me up on Instagram at ABHTXX. And on there, your boy posts photos and videos of sneakers that I reviewed and sneakers that I'm about to review. Also, jump in the Discord. Any questions you may have, anything you wanna know, jump in the Discord. The family in the Discord is the strongest. And while you're in there, post a photo of your favorite sneaker on foot. And when you post it inside the Discord, your boy will take that photo and post it on my next video. Have your feet on my channel. Anyways, man, it's good vibes only. In this studio, on this channel, it's good vibes only. And if the sneaker looks good, man, if the sneaker looks bam, this good, wear it. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, it's your boy AB, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get out of here. I got a Mac to edit on, and it's gonna be a whole debacle. Wish your boy luck, it's gonna be crazy.